Greetings and welcome to what I hope will be the first of many video editorials from Molecular Endocrinology. My name is Steve Hamas. I'm the new Editor-in-Chief of Molecular Endocrinology. What I hope to do over the next few minutes is tell you a little bit about myself and some of the new directions that we plan to take the journal over the next few years. So first I'll tell you a little about myself. I'm the Chief of the Division of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism at the University of Rochester, which is located in Rochester, New York. So for those of you who are geographically inclined, I should point out that Rochester, New York is the incredibly snowy Rochester as opposed to the really cold one that's located in Minnesota. So I'm a physician scientist. I see some patients. I also dabble in a little bit of clinical research, but most of the time I spend doing basic research. My lab is interested in a number of subjects, mostly related to steroid signaling and steroidogenesis, especially as it pertains to hormone-dependent cancers and also to reproduction. So for me, the Endocrine Society has always been my scientific home. This is where my friends are, and this is where my colleagues are. And in particular, molecular endocrinology has been very good to me, thanks primarily to previous editors like Don DeFranco and John Sidlowski. They've given me a lot of support, and some of my best work has actually been published in molecular endocrinology. So when the opportunity came to give back to the journal and to the society, it was really a no-brainer for me to jump in. Of course, some could argue that my timing may not be great. As we all know, basic research right now is facing a huge crisis. Funding is limited and we're being pulled in a lot of different directions. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to write more grants or are we supposed to publish more quality papers? Should we publish in the high impact journals or maybe in the open access journals where things are a little bit easier to get them out there? And sometimes it seems like our own institutions really don't care about what we're publishing, but just whether we have funding. So it really does make us wonder why anybody right now would want to start a career in research. But of course we know the answer. We put up with all of this because we love to do it. And in short, I feel like the job of the society and also the job of the journal is to help foster this love of research and to keep the fire burning throughout these difficult times. So here are a few things that we're planning to do. First of all, we put together a dream team of associate editors that cover the gamut of endocrine research. And you can check out their photos and their bios on the website, and I encourage you to do so. We've actually added two additional associate editors this year to try and broaden our scope. And our hope is we want to be able to publish a journal where anybody who's doing endocrine research feels like they can come to us. In addition, you'll notice that several of the editors, including myself, are actually physician scientists. And this was done on purpose because we want to enhance our ability to review and to publish translationally relevant articles. The second thing we're doing is we're moving to an online-only format. This is going to speed up the time to publication. It's going to give us more flexibility with regard to the number of publications per issue. And most importantly, at a time when money is tight, we're going to be able to eliminate color charges and save everybody some fat money. But wait a minute, there's still more. We're also starting a new category of manuscripts called rapid releases. These are going to be shorter articles that are considered to be high impact. So the selection criteria is going to be very, very strict but they'll be reviewed quickly, and I promise you that we'll keep the number of painful revisions down to a minimum. We really want to use this format as a vehicle so society members who have hot new data can get it out there quickly. And you'll hear more about this very, very soon. And finally, we want to try and make better use of the website. We want to include more featured articles, and we want to feature more authors. We especially want to give trainees an opportunity to be featured on the website so they can strut their stuff and they can get the well-deserved exposure. We hope to include photos, bios, and even more exciting videos just like the one you're watching right now. So please keep the manuscripts coming, keep visiting the website, and feel free to contact us at any time. We're here to help you.